split second during which the first Japanese bomb exploded in Pearl Harbor brought the United States into World War II. But the roots of that war lay buried in the past. World War I had changed the map of Europe. The industrial might of Germany was sharply curtailed. Sections of her former land, lands which she herself had seized in the past, had been turned over to Belgium, France, Poland, and Czechoslovakia. She was stripped of her colonies. The once powerful Austro-Hungarian Empire had been divided to smaller countries whose strong feelings of nationalism and mutual antagonism created political and economic unrest. The vast Russian Empire had become a communist dictatorship, and there was fear of its spread throughout Europe. Many in the United States, disillusioned about war and Europe's political intrigues, sought to build a wall of isolation. During the Great Depression of the 1930s, Americans were largely preoccupied with their own difficulties. In Europe, the Depression caused a crisis in some of the lands previously demoralized by war. Some political leaders sought to capitalize on the fear of communism to create a counter-movement, the totalitarian dictatorship. In Italy, fear of communism helped Mussolini and his fascists, who took over the government in 1923. In Germany, the same fear helped Hitler and his National Socialists, or the Nazis as they came to be known, to take power in 1933. Their methods? Intense nationalism, given purpose by a drive for conquest. Hate and violence against minority groups like Jews, Catholics, and national minorities. This same spirit of nationalism and conquest was exploited in Asia by a military clique which controlled Japan. These nations were bound together at first by common interests. Later, this coalition of Italy, Germany, and Japan was known as the Axis Powers. The League of Nations, established to maintain peace, failed to take strong action against the conquests of the Axis nation. Moreover, a rearmed Germany fitted the traditional British policy of balance of power, Germany against Russia. By postponing the outbreak of the conflict, many European leaders hoped it would be avoided. Thus developed the policy of appeasement, as it came to be called. Give in to Italy, Germany, and Japan to avoid the outbreak of war. And here is the record of the appeasement policy, which sounded so reasonable and so generous, and which failed so unhappily. Nineteen thirty one. Japan invaded Manchuria and was not resisted. Later, when her action was condemned, Japan walked out of the League of Nations. Italy invaded Ethiopia, and later, when her action was condemned, Italy walked out of the League of Nations. 1935. Germany announced that it was rebuilding its armed might in defiance of the Versailles Treaty. Nothing was done to stop her. 